Good evening and welcome to class. Today is going to be a very easy, quick, simple sequence to help you prepare for a restful night's sleep. So ideally you do this class right before you crawl into bed and you don't need any props. You can do it on the floor, on the carpet, or you could even crawl into bed and do the sequence there. Take a moment and dim down the lights and we'll begin in a comfortable seat. Sit nice and tall, cross the legs, maybe close down the eyes. Just take a few deep breaths here. With each inhale, follow the breath as it comes into the body. And exhale, release, relax the shoulders down the back. As you let go of anything that you were carrying with you, from the day. Let any feelings of worries or stress just melt away. Allow yourself the time and space to come into this breath. You can either keep the eyes closed or you're welcome to open them. We're going to bring both hands to your sides and then start to bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Start to feel a stretch on the right side of your neck. Walk your right fingertips a little bit farther away from you. And then option here to gently use your left hand on the right side of your head. And just let the weight of your hand start to rest on your head. So it's nothing forceful, you're not pulling the neck, you're just sort of using the weight of your hand to help you ease into this next stretch. And release. Take it over to the other side, left fingertips down and the right hand on the side of the head. Walk those left fingertips a little bit farther away. Take a couple deep breaths here. And release back up to center. Now you can keep both hands on your legs. We'll just do some half neck rolls, so half circles. So bring the head over to the right side. And then slowly start to bring the chin towards the sternum and over to the left and then stop when the left ear gets to the left shoulder and again bring the head forward one more to the left and last one to the right Head comes back up to center. Reach your right hand over to your right side and then lift your left arm up over your head. Side bend to the right. You can start to bring your right elbow down towards the ground. It's okay if it's lifted, as long as you feel that stretch in the left rib cage, the left side body. It's all good. Inhale back up through center. And over to the left, right arm reaches up over the head. With each inhale, try to reach your right hand up over your head a little bit farther. Create more space between each rib on the right side. And back up to center. Make your way into a sphinx pose. So you're going to come onto your belly. So both hands are out in front of you. Come onto the tops of the feet, relax the legs. Maybe a little bit of en engagement in the glutes. 
and gaze straight ahead. Easy back bend. If you feel any pain in your back from this pose, then you can also step your feet just a little bit wider, create more space for your sacrum. So throughout our day, we usually do a lot of sitting, a lot of flexion in the spine. So before you crawl into bed and go to sleep, it's nice to do a counter pose to all of that forward folding movement from sitting. Release the chest down to the ground or your bed. Place your forehead on your hands for crocodile pose. And just rest here for a moment. Relax the spine. Option to shake out the hips left and right. And then extend your right arm out to your side. And with the help of your left hand underneath your left shoulder, you're going to begin to lift your chest up and then bend the left leg and bring the left leg behind you. So it's a different version of a twist. You have the option to bring your left foot to the right hand if you'd like. But as long as you feel a little twist in the spine and a stretch in the right shoulder, then it's all good. Release back onto the belly and switch over to the left side, extend the left arm out. Right hand comes underneath the right shoulder, bend the right leg, and bring it up behind you. Either the right toes touch down or the whole sole of the foot. A few soft, deep breaths here. Release back onto the belly. And then you're going to make your way all the way onto your back. So however you get there is great, but I recommend that you imagine that your body is like a magnet to the center of the earth and you're moving very slowly onto your back. Great. Once you're there, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself just a little squeeze. Maybe roll left and right. And then place both hands on the knees and start to make some big circles with the knees. Release the hips. Switch directions on the circle. You could either continue with the circles, you could also just hug the knees into the chest, or if you'd like to take happy baby, you can hold on to the sides of the feet, or even the hamstrings, up to you. Take three more breaths here. Slow and steady, nice and soft. Beautiful. Hug the knees into the chest one last time. And release. And I'll be ending the video here. A very rare time in our classes where I'm not going to cue you into Shavasana. 
So instead, I invite you to turn off the video and head straight to bed. Hopefully you're already in bed and take your Shavasana from bed. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Good night and Namaste.